Greetings! In this hopefully short video, I'm going to show you how to write files using Python. A lot of the steps we're going to go over are very similar to what you did with reading files, so rather than bore you, let's just do it. Alright, there's basically three things you need to know. The first step is to open the file you want to write to. And we're going to do this the same way that we did with reading a file. We're going to say open the name of the file we want to write to, and this is important, myfile.txt. You can put whatever you want here, but Python will overwrite whatever's in this file, so be careful. And instead of reading the file, we want to write to it, so we're just going to put a W. The next step is write stuff to the file. Here, you're just going to say file.write, and then in here you can put a quote and whatever you want. It's kind of like the print statement, so hello world, and I can copy and paste it. How are you? The last step, super, super important. You need to close the file. If you do not close the file, Windows will not actually create it. So why don't we go ahead, uh, let's look at my desktop. Uh, you'll notice no file exists. I'm just going to run the program for a second. So I'm done. I minimize. There's my file. And when I double click on it, I have a file. Oh, but this is weird. And this is an important point. Uh, when you are writing to a file, if you want new lines, you have to specify them. So this is how you do it. You can say like, hello world, new line, how are you? So now when I run that program, uh, I'm going to close it and reopen it. You will see that it actually does put it on both. I can do a little bit more fancy stuff, right? For example, um, if I want to, I can do hello world, how are you? On one line, ooh, super fancy, right? Same thing. That's writing files in a nutshell. Uh, there's a couple other like hidden things we, we didn't talk about. Uh, concatenating strings. So for example, there are times maybe when you want to do hello world, how are you? Maybe you want to um, add two strings. The way that you do it, we call it concatenation, but you're really just adding two strings together. Right, so if I run this and I go and open up the file, hello world, how are you? I can also do it with numbers. So, uh, for example, I could say my favorite number is, and then I can concatenate like a five. But if I do this, I'll get an error, and the reason is you cannot concatenate a string with a number. So what you have to do is basically convert it like this. And you say, I'm converting this to a string, then you can add the two together. So then I can go over here my favorite number is five. There's another way that people sometimes do this. I'm just going to show it to you. You don't necessarily need to use it. Um, this method, the concatenation method works great. But for example, if I want to say my favorite number is five, what I can do is use this special notation. I can say percent %d, which means a number, an integer specifically, and then inside here I can say five. So some people like this because let's say I want to put a fa uh, an integer, a floating point number, and another string. I can do it like this, and then in this parentheses I can say the first one is uh, an integer, the next one is a floating point number, and the last one is a string. Right? And I can go ahead and save that and run it. And when that happens, you will see it puts a number, it puts my floating point number, and then it puts the string that I wanted. Some people like this because it's a little bit cleaner for when you have really complicated strings. But again, you can concatenate either way is fine. So that's it. Um, basically, we've shown you how to read files. We've shown you how to write them. Go ahead, get started on your labs. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you very much. Told you it would be short.